All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. So today we're planting peppers. Now you see I got these peppers here, and no, I didn't pot these up. These are actually last year's peppers. And this is a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. You can see I've got lots of green growing. I've even got a small, oh, uh, hang on, that bud fell off. Oh. But I got a small bud, if you can focus in on that, Bree. See, we've even got a little bud coming with the pepper starting to grow. Now, I did have these peppers here, but as you can see, they're completely dead. Sometimes, if you have a mild uh, winter and it doesn't freeze too hard, you'll be able to actually get your peppers to come back after a freeze, but that hasn't been the case this year. We did go down to about 25 degrees at one point. So, so basically what I did is I took the peppers that I had in the garden, and I took six of them. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six that I, I kept from last year. Now I don't know whether or not I can do this more than um, more than one year. I've, I've never tried, uh, though I am going to try again this year with some of these and see if I can continue these peppers growing for more than just one year at a time. But I'm going to plant these plus I'm going to also plant some um, some peppers that I grew fresh this year from seed. Right. But I have found that growing peppers from seed can be a challenge sometimes. All right, so basically I'm just gonna take it, put it down in the dirt. Oh look, a worm. Oh, Mr. Wormy. We like those. Get in there, go hide. So you just wanna put it back down to about where it was before. Pack your dirt down a little bit so it's got some strength if we get a, brick, a good wind. And you know, if you got nice fertile soil, it helps. Peppers like a lot of nitrogen, so having nitrogen in the soil is a good thing, which you can get by growing beans, using compost, and so on. Um, this particular bed has been composted, but I'll throw some more compost on it as I get it. All right. But that's really all there is to saving your peppers from one year to the next. Just take them out. Now, I normally like to keep the roots in there and let them rot down. But in this case, it's kind of in my way. So, because I want this pepper right about there, which is where I had a hot pepper last year. Now, the only thing is, I did not manage to save any of my hot peppers. But that's okay. I'll go out and I'll buy me some. I have some seed I'm going to try and grow. And peppers can be a challenge to get to grow from seed. All right. So we're going to do that. And that is last year's peppers. All right. Oh, I missed one. Let me knock this one out real quick. Now this, this plant here is eventually going to go away. But right now, I don't have a lot of other flowers, and you can see it's got a lot of flowers. This is a uh, dill, um, which I don't mind if it seeds out because dill is good for your soil. Helps to knock down bad and even toes and such. I will eventually take it out. But like I said, there's just not... And this is some cilantro right here. But like I said, right now there's just not a lot of um, flowers out there for the bees until I get some more growing. Um, there's some, but not a huge amount. So I'm trying to leave what I can that's flowering and I can use it for seed or allow it to spread on its own. But uh, for the moment, it's there to hopefully give the bees something to eat. All right, so there we go. So that makes six, one there, two here, three, four, five, and six peppers from last year. Now I did just pull a couple of peppers off that had grown in the greenhouse while they were in there for the winter. 
All right, let's go over here. All right, so right here, what I have, what I have here is a failure to communicate. No, actually, I don't think I'm communicating fairly well. But these are Purple Beauty bell peppers. My daughter bought me the seeds for Christmas. And I planted a bunch of seeds, and now I got a ton of peppers. So I'm gonna do a couple things. First thing I'm gonna do is separate them out. And then I'm gonna let the airplane go by. Yes, I live very close to an airport. Um, I really don't mind, but it can get challenging when you're trying to do videos. All right, so there you go, four pepper plants. All right, so there you go, I got four pepper plants separated out. And I'm just gonna start sticking them in spots that don't have anything in them. All right, like that one right there. This is kind of my salad garden anyway. And then the peppers, when they grow up, should actually, if I place them properly, they will hopefully help to shade the lettuce from the uh, summer sun. Because peppers can get pretty tall and lanky. And they like the summer sun, whereas lettuce and so on, chard, does not. Now, peppers also take a good amount of nutrients. So, you want to have a fairly fertile soil. And I had added compost to this before I planted it. Um, so, should be okay. I'll add some more to it. And then I also use my compost tea. And put one over there. Actually, you know what? Let me use these. These are my regular peppers which is pretty interesting because I literally covered these cells with pepper seeds. Now one of the things about collecting seeds from peppers is you have to make sure the plants are mature. All right, so, I mean, not the plant, but the, the, the peppers. You gotta make sure the peppers are mature when you take the seeds. If they're not a mature pepper, then the seeds will not be mature either. And so what you can end up with is seeds that won't germinate. All right, which I'm sure what happened with all of these is they just weren't quite mature enough when we collected the seeds. Um, because, you know, typically you grab the pepper before it starts to rot and look bad. But if you really want good seed, that's probably the pepper you want. That last one that looks like it's fixing to go bad. But it hasn't quite gone bad yet. Oh man, that came off with a very little root. Um, because you want those seeds to have fully matured. Put one over there where you're at. Now, I know a lot of you are like, oh man, you gotta look that up and make sure they're good companion plants. Well, you don't have to. But if I remember right, they are. Uh, peppers and lettuce, I believe, are just fine. But we'll find out if they don't grow. Then I got one tomato. Where should I put this tomato, Bree? I'm not even sure how I got a tomato in my pepper seeds. It's really weird. Put it over in that corner, how about that? I mean, I don't even know what, what kind of tomato it is, but it's still alive. It's looking kind of rough. I don't know if it'll make it or not, but it ain't gonna cost me nothing to plant it. Let me go around you. All right, we'll plant this one over here.
Now, when you got a tomato that's looking, did I say potato or tomato? And when you got a tomato that's looking kind of rough, plant it deep. Go as deep as you can with it because that stock will actually grow roots all around it. And the further down it goes, the more nutrients it can pull up. All right. There you go. All right. So peppers is a good thing to plant this time of year, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I actually had intended to do that video today, Bree, and for some reason I forgot. But anyway, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Um, so anyway, so planting peppers, the key is to get them someplace where they're going to get a lot of sun, where they're going to get a lot of nutrients, and then make sure they get a lot of water. Um, peppers need a lot of water. I mean, you're eating a pepper, you know that they're very juicy and sweet, and that's because they take up a lot of moisture. So don't put them someplace where you're going to leave things dry. Um, as far as companion plants, and as far as I know, there's a lot of pretty much anything. I don't know that there's anything that peppers just don't get along well with. All right, but that's just off the top of my head. I haven't really researched it. All right, but either way, experiment. Try it out, especially if you got a lot of peppers like I do. Give it a shot, see what happens. All right, so that's my pepper planting. And I'll have purple pe uh, peppers, so I can be like Peter Piper who picked a peck of purple peppers, right? Is that the way that goes? Or is it, I don't know that it's purple peppers. Hmm. Pickled. Oh, I don't know. Is it? Man, somebody give me a comment here and let me know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, so that's most of my tomatoes planted, most of my square foot garden planted, most of my peppers planted. Um, I'm sure I'll find something else to plant tomorrow. Either way, come back and see me and find out. Uh, but thanks once again for stopping by. Do me a favor, give me that like and a subscribe. Pass it on to your friends if you don't mind. But most importantly, grow some. Get some growing in your yard. You'll thank yourself. All right, thanks once again.